everybody, welcome back to Gideon Stuff. Today we have a really cool video. It's an unboxing video, but it's a really special unboxing video because this box is from a viewer. Uh, really, really great guy. Uh, kind of a neighbor from Texas. And we talk on Instagram sometimes, and he asked me if you know I want to take a look at any knives, and he sent me a bunch of pictures, and I picked out five that I want to take a look at. So, let's get into this. We're doing the uh, this point of view for this video because I just couldn't get down on the desktop. We'll, we'll, we'll go back to the des desktop after I switch this around, after I get these out. So... There's a note. Okay. Oh wow. Okay, we've got a lot of stuff in here. Okay, awesome. I'm gonna pause this real quick and read the uh, read the note. Okay, I finished reading it. Um, to the viewer that sent this in, you know who you are, and thank you. That note was really really nice. I appreciate that. That was awesome. Okay, and then he sent me. Awesome, some pictures of the knives here with prices. Thank you very much, this is this is awesome. And he sent me an extra, so, all right. <laughs> okay. We're gonna go back to the table. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I'm laughing at in just a sec. All right, so let's go ahead and move some of these things out of the way. Okay, adjust here a little bit. Awesome. Let's look at at uh, everything. So right on top was a Ziploc baggie full of uh, <laughs> full. <laughs> We've got the little artisan drawstring bags and a bunch of cleaning cloths of Evie and Kaiser, it looks like. Um, with a note saying, I'll use my thumb to c cover up the name in case. Gideon, do with this stuff whatever you want, just don't send it back, I have enough of knife paraphernalia. <laughs> so, oh man, this is great. I will probably use um, some of these baggies to send out uh, giveaway stuff and knives that I send to other people. So that's awesome. Thank you. <laughs> we will find a use for those. Okay, let's get into the knives. All right. Um, got them wrapped up really, really nicely here with bubble wrap. Okay. So, all right, there's one. This looks like a, yeah, it's a Demco pouch. And then, it's not a Demco in there though. Got this Vivi pouch. And, more Savivi pouches and a, oh, that's cool. Okay, so, awesome. These are not Savivis, guys. Uh, I'm still not, you know, gonna review very many Savivis this year. I'm wanting to focus on other brands. But yeah, let's go ahead and look at this. This is really, really awesome. I don't even know where to start. Let's just start over here. Okay, so. Yeah, okay, so this is the Best Tech Explorer. This is a relatively new Best Tech, and it was one that I want to take a look at, but just never really got around to, and uh, now I get to. This is really cool. Right off the bat, ooh. Wow, that action's nice. Flipper's okay. I think I prefer the, uh, let's see, can I thumb flick it? Yeah, this is really, really neat. A little heftier than I thought it was, it was going to be, but I like, I, I like this so far. This is very interesting. Little tank of a, of a knife, flat ground, like drop point tanto. 
Interesting, interesting, interesting. So that's cool. All right, put that right there. Next up, let's see what this one is. Ah, yeah, this was one that I was really, really wanting to take a look at. This is the Kaiser Lan, and uh, perfectly centered. G10 feels, it's like frag pattern G10. It's pretty interesting. Wow. Yeah. What people say about this being extremely drop shutty, that is, that is absolutely true. Wow. It honestly does remind me a little bit in feel of the, uh, by the time this video comes out, the review of this knife won't be out yet, unfortunately, but man, I think this one is actually more drop shutty than that real steel. That is crazy smooth. Blade play? No. Wow. Ergos? Forget the jimping. Oh, that is excellent jimping. This is what I'm always complaining about, is that companies don't put enough jimping on the back of the knife. This one? Yeah, there's plenty jimping there. That is good. Lockup? Looks good. I've had issues with Kaisers in the past having lockup that's just way too early. Can I flick it off the fuller? Oh yeah, you betcha. That is awesome. This is very lightweight. Um, really, really, really smooth action. That is absolutely insane. Okay, next up. Let's get through the Civivi pouches first, I guess. Yeah, okay, this is another cool one. This is the CRKT, uh, the, I think this is the, the, let's see, there's a couple of these. I can't remember what this size is called. The, um, well, wait, he sent me paperwork. I can look at the paperwork. The Tie Tat 2. Yeah. Designed by Brian Ty. And this one's actually discontinued, but I always want to take a look at it. Wow. Look at that grind. That is, that is crazy. I can tell that CRKT went a little wonky in a few places, but. It's really interesting compound grind, grind that's really kind of wicked looking Tonto. Ergos are surprisingly good. I've heard other people say that the Ergos on these knives, they, they look like they'd be terrible. They're not. Uh, I wouldn't say this is the most comfortable knife ever, but definitely, yeah, definitely not as bad as it, it looks. I mean, it looks very pointy, but no, it's, it's actually pretty good. It is a button lock. Ooh, very light detent. Okay. Push button on the flipper works good. Light switch. You can do. Verse flick. Yeah. Okay, yeah. A little bit lighter of a detent, but once you figure it out, yeah, you won't miss a flip. Very, very interesting. Centering is off a little bit. If I remember right, these weren't very expensive though. So this is really cool. I always want to check one of these out. So I'm really glad that I finally get a chance to handle one. Yeah, that's a, this is a pretty fun fidgety knife. That one came out before button locks were cool, you know? <laughs> so, all right, the last one is Vivi pouch. This feels a little bit heftier. We'll see what's in here. Yeah, okay, awesome. This one is, Check the notes. I think this one is it. Yeah, this one is the Artisan Cutlery Mega Hawk. Wow. I like this. It has, it, it's, it's a hefty knife, but it has a good, good heft to it. Very nice Warncliffe blade. Wish there was some jimping up here, but man, yeah, this is a knife that you could really put to work. Yeah. The action's pretty good. I was actually a little bit worried at first because the flipper tab is so low in comparison to the pivot. I didn't know how it would flip, but uh, yeah, it flips pretty nicely. Yeah. Very hand-filling grip. This is a very comfortable knife. I love this blade shape. This is awesome. I might have to pick up one of these. Centering is perfect. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is awesome. That's, that's, mm, that one might be my favorite that I've looked at so far. <laughs> Those hard to say because they've all been pretty nice. All right, two more left. Let's get into the SIG pouch. I'm guessing this is what the SIG, the Hoga and SIG K320s come in. I'm just guessing. And yeah, this is the Artisan Cutlery Apache Nomad. No, no, this isn't. This is the Artisan Cutlery Jungle. Double check that. Yeah, I have seen this knife many times and it's always interested me. Yeah, wow, there you have plenty of room on that handle, no matter what size hand you have. Reversible clip, that's awesome. Oh, oh my gosh. That's a dropper. Now in the note, he said, yeah. He said that he wanted to do a flipper delete on, I think this was the one he said he wanted to do a flipper delete on. Let me check. Yeah, yeah. He says he's considered doing a dehorning, as he called it. Yeah, I can see why. Man, that fuller works so good. Wow. Wow. That one's really cool. I could definitely see the jungle being a fantastic work knife. 100%. All right, let's get into the last one. And this, this is the uh, Mega Hawk from Artisan. Yeah, look at that. Very shiny. I believe these are aluminum scales. It is a liner lock. We have like carbon fiber inserts. Hmm, that clip looks a little weird. Be curious to see how that goes in and out of the pocket. All right, again, it has one of those lower flipper tabs, but let's see how the flipping action is. All right, it works. Ergonomically, for me, actually, my finger lands in a bad spot right there. I have a very nice choil here. Yeah, that works a lot better. I feel the clip a little more now, right there. But, wow, again, really nice worn cliff blade. You might call this a sheep's foot. If the edge is straight, I call it a worn cliff. And let's, uh, let's get a got calculator laying around here. I call it a worn cliff. I call it a worn cliff. Uh, it looks actually the the profile of the blade very similar to the 8020.5 shark's foot, but yeah, this is not enough. I could see as being a very good work knife. The ergos aren't working out too well for me. Good action, but they might work for other people. Perfectly centered. This one used to have a uh, glass breaker, but he removed it. I don't mind that. There go. Very nice fit and finish on the back spacer there. Reversible pocket clip. Let's see how it flicks off that fuller. Very nice. Wow. Let's release that. Nice. Really, really cool. This one. This one's probably the best looking, in my opinion. I'm not sure if it's my favorite that, that we've unboxed so far. But yeah, that is awesome. That is awesome. We have some really, really cool knives here. I want Again, I want to thank the gentleman that sent these in. It was really awesome of you. I'll get these reviewed and sent back to you as soon as possible. But really appreciate it. Uh, this is some really, really cool stuff. I've been wanting to get a hold of more of the artisan stuff, you know, not CGRB, but more of the artisan budget stuff. And all these, all these are budget knives. Um, in fact, let me look at the spec sheets he sent. So the best tech Explorer is going for, and uh, these are knife center prices, $63. Okay. This one, $69. That's kind of the standard Kaiser Vanguard price. This one is discontinued, so we don't know what the price is on that. Might not do a full review on this one just because it is discontinued, but I'll definitely definitely make a video about it. 
Awesome. And then uh, bu -bu -bu. this one is $59.24. Ooh, that's a good price. This one feels a lot more expensive. This one is $55.49. Also a good price, and this one is fifty nine twenty four as well. So yeah, really, really good value on those artisans. And I just realized that I unintentionally opened all the artisans right after another. That worked out pretty good. Oh man, yeah, this feels like oh the ergos on this knife just fantastic. This is this yeah yeah this will be a good work knife. Awesome. And that's going to be it, guys. Again, thank you to the viewer who sent these in. It's because of people like you that I get to keep the channel going. Uh, <laughs> I sound like Metal Complex. <laughs> I guess now I have to get my Mickey Mouse voice out and start making fun of everybody. But seriously, I do appreciate this. I am was running out of content <laughs> Uh, for the channel and so this here this is at least six videos so that's awesome I really really appreciate that and yeah everybody look forward to these reviews these will be coming out very well I guess not shortly judging by my upload schedule these will probably be a while down the road but they're coming so thank you guys so much for watching if you like the video like comment and subscribe if you didn't like the video Tell me why. And I've been Gideon. I'll see you in the next one. Bye now.